Welcome to the Adam State Podcast. I'm Mike Clifford, and today we are talking with the mayor of Alamosa, Ty Coleman. He is going to be giving the keynote speech for Black History Month here on the Adam State campus this Thursday, the 22nd of February, 6 o'clock in McDaniel 101. So thanks for talking with us today, Ty. Well, thank you, Mike. Thank you so very much for inv inviting me to be a part of the podcast today. I'm really looking forward to uh, giving a presentation this Thursday at McDaniel's Hall um, at six o'clock. So thank you so much. And thank you for everything you do in our community as well, Mike. Well, I'm glad to do it. So, um, yeah, I know we don't want to spoil the whole speech for people, but can you give us a little uh, taste of what you're going to be talking about on Thursday evening? Sure, I'll be glad to. Uh, my message is based on the word champion, a guide to excellence. What I do, Mike, is I use each letter in the word champion to bring home my message. For example, I, the C in the word champion stands for cultivate good, healthy, lasting relationships. The H stands for hunger for your goals and your dreams to become a reality. The A stands for adjust your attitude to take positive actions. The M stands for master your mind and then mind your business. The P stands for practice professional pride. The I stands for involve yourself in your community. The O stands for take ownership of your actions. And the N stands for never quit. All right. Well, that sounds appropriate because as far as I know, uh, you are actually uh, putting that into practice uh, every day. Yes, I try to. And that's What's so powerful about this message is I use life stories, real examples about how when I went through a major setback in my life back in 2010, how I was able to implement these principles uh, to make and have a huge comeback. Um, and anyone can do it. Uh, I always encourage everyone to try to always hold on to hope when you don't have anything else to hold on to. And my message is packed with a lot of tools that people can use to implement in their life to bring about that positive change that they would like to see in this world. All right, great. And this is something you're not just doing this for uh, this week or something. You give these kinds of talks um, a lot. It's kind of part of your uh, professional life. How did you get interested and, and get started doing that? Sure, Mike. Good question. Um, I first realized that I was able to give uh, good presentations when I was back in high school and, in, in, and early in college when my teachers and professors in, encouraged me. They said, hey, you have a little gift and voice. You might want to work on it. So I, so I worked on the craft along the way, and um, I realized that I, my messages were resonating with people. And people were uh, coming to me and telling me that uh, some of the things that I talked about helped them in their lives. So that really helped me out. And uh, so I started giving presentations and um, to where now I've given over 400 empowerment presentations to companies, corporations, organizations all around uh, America. And I've heard and seen you speak a couple of times. I think you're definitely a very dynamic speaker. Well, thank you. Thank you. I, I try to do my best. And, and um, what encourages me and gives gives me hope to continue to speak is whenever people come up to me after my presentation or either send me an email or send me a text and tell me how they at that particular time prior to coming in were going through something and how my message was able to help them make it through something. And I realized that that was powerful, Mike, because in life I found that most of us are going through three reoccurring phases in our lives. We're either going through something or we've just gone through something or either we are about to go through something. And you never know what stage or phase a person is going through. So it's always important to make sure that you listen to them and also try to give them a little bit of hope because you never know if you're the last person that that person has to talk to before they do something drastic in their life. Well, I can definitely attest that uh, you are uh, one of the most positive people I know and that just, uh, you know, I don't even have to go to a, a speech, but just seeing you during the day uh, gives me a little pickup and a little jolt of positivity. And I'm sure that talk Thursday night will do even more of that. 
for folks? Well, that's my hope. And I want to encourage everyone who's uh, within the sound of this uh, podcast to show up to uh, the event this Thursday at 6 p.m. Come as you are. Um, and I'll be glad to sit down and talk to those who may want to have a conversation after the presentation. Whenever I give a presentation, I don't leave until the last person have asked the question that they have uh, talked about what's on their mind. All right. Yeah. And that's a good reminder, too, that even though this is an event on the Adams State campus and uh, sponsored by Adams State, that it's really open to the entire community. Uh, also, you don't necessarily have to have any uh, special interest in black history or anything. It's something it sounds like that can apply to anybody. Uh, the talk I know is free. So, um, yeah, just come on out and uh Get a little, uh, a little pick me up. Absolutely, Mike, and you hit the nail on the head. It's, it's, um, you doesn't matter what what race you are, doesn't matter what ethnicity you are, it doesn't matter what walk of life you're coming from, or what where you're going to, or what you're going through. You come in and feel free, and you're going to be welcome with open arms uh, in this presentation. And my goal is to make sure that you leave inspired with the jolt of energy and and hope to continue to do great things in this world all right well i think that sounds like a great way to uh, close things out tonight or today but um is there anything else you want to mention before we finish up ty well i just want the community to know that right now in our community a lot of people are suffering with um behavior or mental health issues or financial health and, and struggles and challenges and i just want them to know that um, if you come to that message i'll share with you how i made it through some of those challenges uh, and implemented some of the things that i'm going to talk about that i hope will give you that hope that you need to continue to move forward so I encourage everyone, let's pack McDaniels Hall to the, and fill it up um, and, 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 and be there to, to share with one another and give hope. All right. Thanks. That's Thursday night, February 22nd, 6 o'clock at McDaniel Hall on the Adams State campus. The event, the talk by Alamosa Mayor Ty Coleman is free and open to the general public. Parking is open at 6 o'clock on the Adams State campus. You don't have to worry about uh, where you're parking. There's a lot of parking right near McDaniel Hall there. So come on by and check it out. And again, thanks for talking with us today, Ty. Thank you, Mike. Have a super fantastic day and don't let anyone steal your joy. <laughs>